Hello friends, uh, welcome back. This is Emmanuel Mendu. I received a comment from Anant Us. He requested to create a store procedure that will retrieve a database data and show up on uh, labels controls in uh, ASP.NET uh, using C Sharp. Okay, I will show you that in this video. Uh, let's uh, first create a store procedure here we have a sample database db and we have a tables to retrieve data okay we have and we we need to create a store procedure for that so go to store procedure folder and right click on it and you will see new to uh, new cre uh, store procedure option just click on it and you will see a bunch of um, pre pre uh, defined scripts here it will uh, it is helping you just if you read all this for adding parameters how to use the select query statement here like that and it, uh, I, will, I will keep everything as it is and what I will do I, I don't use parameters for this proc I just want to make it as simple as possible to understand so what I will do I will remove this lines and I will say store put is a name as pull data okay and so i'll remove all this it's not needed for now so it says insert statements for procedure here okay we'll insert so i will use the tbl persons table here tbl person table let's see what we have we have profile ID for average so this is good example so let's see for average what I will do I will say average profile ID that is AVG is uh, the syntax for average and count for, uh, is syntax for count okay let's say count of profile ID or you can say count of star so how many records you have like that so let's go and see we have the average value in the profile ID is 30 and the count is 7 so we have 7 records in that table okay so I cannot uh, use uh, no column name to retrieve da um, data for front end you can st you can still use but I don't prefer that uh, let's uh, bind the label with the column name so what I will have I will have some um, alias name for average AVG and for count I will say CNT and if you see if you execute this statement select statement and you will see the column names here okay we are ready to create a store procedure with a select statement in that pulling average and count and I will click on execute so this will create our store procedure and if you go and refresh the folder you will see the pull data so you can open this using modify make sure like it doesn't change anything wrong but I uh, will show you modify thing just if you want the from line to the next line just click execute and you will see that in our new new thing okay this how to alter it so for creating use new store procedure for altering just use modify option so we have created I, I showed you how to create a store procedure and how to retrieve data now the retrieving data we need to use C sharp to pull it and to show up on the ASP.NET. Let's go to our Visual Studio. So here we ha I have a connection string already and uh, I added a label control, a simple label control and here I will use a SQL client to pull uh, to, to connections between uh, Visual Studio and our database. I'll use a SQL connection I know you guys are familiar with this so I won't explain on in this video 
just uh, will add a SQL connection with this connection string. You can watch other videos for brief examples for on SQL connection and SQL client commands, something like that. So I'll use SQL command. Here we uh, we are using we are calling uh, store procedure names. I want just I want to use store procedure name here and connection string name. Okay, object. Okay, we are we are ready with the connection string and command and this command we need to specify what type so command type equal to the stored procedure okay it will understand now for retrieving a read only data we will use SQL data reader okay let's have a SQL data reader so before that what I will do, uh, we need to open the connection okay and the R command dot execute reader so this DR will um, pull all pull that select statement whichever we are getting the data output so let's say let me let me tell SQL data reader to go to next step means the first uh, row and here what I will do I'll say the ID means our label label name test for here what I will do first I will say average space I will have a little colon so that it's easy to read so do you remember which what we added we added as AVG for average you can use breakpoint to step into the next line and here we'll say count count colon space dr C and T okay it's a simple five lines code and in the SQL server just one statement we are trying to retrieve a data okay just execute this uh, our program and you see average and count displaying on the labels so this is what uh, our Arant asked so this is a small video um, I keep uh, uh, seeing the comments. I some uh, sometimes I am busy with my family time, but I still uh, see and I will respond your for your questions as soon as possible. Please post like this of comments uh, and feedbacks in my ch channel. And uh, for more videos, uh, uh, this type of videos or any questions you have as programmatically, please ask me. I will try to respond as soon as possible. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, happy coding have a good day thanks for watching this video bye bye